And now, America's healthcare advocate, Carrie Hall. Hello, America. Welcome to America's Healthcare Advocate Show, broadcasting coast to coast across the USA here on the HIA Radio Network. All right, this is our annual Federal Employees Health Benefits Program show that we do every year. Back in studio with me, Ron Rose, Senior VP, Chief Operating Officer, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, and Ronnie Miller, Senior Sales Consultant, Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Welcome back, Ron. Oh, thank you. you know, I could just take the headset off and you could do the show. Uh, you wouldn't want to do that. No, I don't know. You he's wouldn't want to do that, that Ron. I mean, do he's that. done about 100 of these, I think, <laughs> something like that. So. He, he definitely has me. Yeah, 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 he does. So. Okay, so the purpose of this show today is to explain to all of the federal employees out there what is available um, from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas City. The open enrollment period starts on November 9th and goes through December 14th. So all you know, that's your time to make a choice if you are um, a federal employee, and there are 45,398 of you on the Blue Cross plan. In Kansas City. Yeah, yeah, I know, that's a few. There's a, there's a couple million across the entire yeah, United I think States. Yeah, eight million but, yep, in, across in, the country in, in Kansas City. Yeah. Yeah. That's about a 65% market share in Kansas City. So, you know, almost 7 out of 10 uh, federal employees in Kansas City have that Blue Cross ID card. Yeah, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One of them is that you just got a big award. Well, we've gotten several awards. I, well, that's one of the things I, I wanted to talk today about is um, – service, you know, big deal. Um, we've gotten several awards recently regarding the level of service that we provide. So and it's not just for the federal employees. It's, it's all of the blue cross customers, Correct. but the federal employees are included in this, but JD powers awarded us the, the best, uh, health insurance plan in, in the Midwest, which is a, a big, big deal it to, is a big to be, deal. uh, the, the best that's, that's ranked by consumers. That's not, that's yeah, which is interesting. I didn't know that. Yep. And Aaron, I had lunch with Aaron Stuckey that and she told me that, yeah, by the way, I, did you know that that's actually done by the consumer you guys don't have any nope, say in that we don't those that, that's, yeah. that's independently done by jd powers and i think a lot of folks are familiar with jd powers and what they do for all, all industries not yeah. just the health insurance industry so that was a that was a really big deal for us we we're very proud of that but one of the things that I, i'm just uh blown away by because we we talk about having uh, award-winning customer service we had 53 customer service reps this year that were um considered to be world class now there's a company called sqm sqm does they survey customer service reps uh, across the united states and canada Sixty thousand customer service reps that they survey and um and it's not just the health insurance industry it's, it's health insurance it's uh, i think american express participates with them capital one um some some big companies but in order to be considered world class when they survey our customer, they survey our members. And the members, when they're surveyed, the customer service rep, eight, they have to get an 85% rating that 85% of our members that SQM survey says, that customer service rep helped me out, met my needs. And so I, I tell the reps when they get customers, when they get SQM certification, it's really nine out of 10 because 85% is eight and a half. There's not a half a person. So really <laughs> nine out of 10 people have said they took care of me and met my needs. Yeah, That was a big deal. So we have 53 of those folks, 53 of our customer service reps, they're considered world-class. So nine out of 10 people feel like, of our customers feel like their their needs were met when they called into the uh, customer service. Here Help in line. Kansas City. Here in Kansas City. By people in Kansas City. By people City. in Kansas City, yeah. that's right. Now, SQM does another thing that is, that is I got to go to the conference with our, our, our customer service reps last year, and really, I, I really got excited about seeing what, what, what they do, but they have a big award ceremony, and out of those 60,000 customer service reps, they pick the top customer customer service rep and the top supervisor out of 60,000. We had one of our supervisors selected as the top serv- top customer service supervisor across the United States and Canada. Yo, that's this amazing. year. And and so um, when we say we provide world class service, that's that's why. Yeah. Um, and award winning because yeah. uh, and, and you know it's interesting because I've been doing this for 26 years as a health insurance broker you know and my, now my agency's merged with RPS and I'm not as active in it but I still work with it and still work with people all the time and I, I'll tell them flat out you go ahead and go with that other plan, but let me tell you what's going to happen when you call the one eight hundred number. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're you're not going to get somebody sitting on Main Street that knows every hospital, doctor, etc. in this town, and is you're going to go through fourteen voice prompts and get somebody in maybe in the Philippines yeah. or if if it, there, there happens to be one carry that does it out of India. That's always a lot of fun trying to figure yeah. out what they're trying to say. And and some of these other places, it's a whole different ball game here in Kansas City because you've got the people right down here on Main street that are here and they're helping local people that are on on these plans that's right we 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 always say that you know the the people that are our customers we go to church with them we shop with them in the grocery stores that's um <laughs> but i gotta tell you one thing carrie and you're right um 
normally they're all sitting down in Main Street. Right now they're scattered yeah. across Kansas City yeah. working out of their homes, yeah. Yeah. and we haven't missed a beat either. If you look at if you look at the stats that we monitor in terms of the metrics on the service we're providing, we we're we're not missing a lick. We are we are doing really really well. I think last month we processed over a million claims. We had five errors, five errors out of a million claims, and these are people working at home doing that. So um, that's 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 a pretty big deal. Yeah, it is a pretty big, big deal. deal. That is a very big deal. So ninety nine percent of your members that are federal employees stay with you year to year that's a pretty good number that's right um we're, we're very proud of that that uh, again when you provide a good customer service um th- those folks stay that's why we have a 99 percent retention rate in the fed with the federal employees and last year um you know we we talk about having a 65 percent market share and you, you say well when you got that many members it's really pretty hard to grow but we had a thousand people a thousand federal employees in kansas city last year moved from a different carrier to blue cross and blue shield of kansas city and we're hoping we can see that again this yeah, year i imagine that probably happen again especially, um, especially when people start hearing about these customer service words right ronnie yeah no i i 100 agree and we've been lucky enough to to always constantly year after year to be able still to add members um to this program and a lot of that is through the customer service and i know ron was talking about that but trish mahiran is our fep supervisor she's won the sqm award two times Mm -hmm. and seven out of seven out of 14 i believe of our uh customer service reps in fep have won an award as well as far as that so it's it's just across the board with uh the customer service excellence that we have because here's the thing when somebody's got a claims issue or a provider issue they don't want to hear well, we'll get back to you next week, or I have to call back and go through the whole story again with another that's customer right. service. They want somebody that's going to take care of it and going to take care of it now. Well, that's one of the stats that we monitor is what we've referred to as first call resolution. Um, you know, those those reps, we you're not timed. It's not about how many calls can you get in. And, you know, when someone calls, you know, be as quick as you can, get them off the phone, get the next one. It's about resolve that call the first time. Don't make them call back. Don't have to call back is first call resolution stats. And Ronnie referenced, we have a, you know, federal employees have, they're, 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 they've got some pretty um, specific benefits and some things that are a little bit different um, in that program. So we have a dedicated unit that, that that's all they deal with is the, is the federal employees uh, plans. So they know, Ronnie, they know how to talk to them about what their specific needs are based on what their plan design is. Exactly. And and for me, being out in the field, I get the face-to-face with the members. And so if customer service is bad, your interaction is bad. <laughs> you, 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 you get to hear about it. <laughs> I get to hear you're, about you're it. You're the guy. Right. And, and I hear the opposite. I hear, man, hey, your customer service reps were great. It's fantastic. I never have a problem. You guys always resolve my issues. So it makes my job a lot easier uh, going out in the field. And talking about just the benefits and not having to talk about the problems. It's something to be proud of. So if once again, if you're a federal employee, you know you've got from November 9th to December 14th. You can, if you want to make a phone call and find out more information or talk to one of the reps, one eight hundred four eleven blue. That is the number one eight hundred four eleven blue, or the website FEP blue.org that's fepblue.org we come back from the break we're going to start talking about the networks who the providers are what we have and how that works we'll get into all that shortly and then we'll take a deep dive in the third segment and talk about what the plan looks like this year what's new and what's improved stay tuned we'll be right back after the break you're listening to america's Healthcare advocate broadcasting coast to coast across the usa stay tuned we're right back with more Welcome back. You're listening to America's Healthcare Advocate Show, broadcasting coast to coast across the USA. Here on the HIA Radio Network, you can find out more about us by going to our website, America's healthcareadvocate.com. If you've got questions, you can send me an email from that website. We're happy to respond to you in any way. If you have an issue or something you want help with, or if you've got a suggestion for the show, feel free to do that. Our producer, Brenna Dreyer. I'm your host, Kerry Hall. Ron Rowe in studio with me and Ronnie Miller uh, from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas City. Once again, I want to give a shout out to our newest affiliate, KRFE, AM and FM 95.9 in Lubbock, Texas, our 205th radio station. Very happy to have those folks on board. If you are a federal employee, this is an important show. 
I said these are posted on our podcast, TuneIn, SoundClouds, iTunes, and Spreaker. So maybe you're a federal employee and you want to tell your wife about this or whatever the case may be. You can go up on the podcast and they can listen to the show. So we're going to talk about benefits now. We're going to talk about networks. We're going to talk about ancillary benefits. You don't have to remember all this stuff. It's up there on the podcast. So go to the podcast. You can get the information. If you want to call somebody at Blue and chat with them, 1-800-411-BLUE. 1-800-411-BLUE or fepblue.org, fepblue.org. One of their award-winning customer service representatives will be happy to talk with you. All right, so Ronnie, let's talk a little bit about network. This is a big deal because people are always worried about, is my doctor in network? And the beauty of this particular program is you've got a huge network. We do. We, we have, uh, you know, we have all, all, we have majority of the hospitals that are in our network. Um, we have uh, the HCA, ACA, ACA, HCA, thank you, yeah. uh, network's in there. Um, we also have, uh, Ron, help me out here. Luke, St. Luke's is in there. The KU Health System's in there. Um, uh, North Kansas City. Liberty. Liberty, Liberty, yes. They're all in except for one. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the Kansas well, City market. Yeah. In the Kansas right City market. There. But one of the things I think we should probably address because, you know, you mentioned your new affiliate in Lubbock. We're talking about, you know, the Kansas City network, but but there's a nationwide network, too. So that if you've got, that. If you got folks down in, in Texas that are listening to this show, and Ronnie's going to talk about some of the benefits. Those are benefits for Blue customers across the United States. And the net, in the United States, the national network uh, includes 95% of the doctors in the U.S. are in the FEP, the Federal Employee Program Network for Federal Employees, 96% of the hospitals. So we can talk about the specifics here in Kansas City, but if your other customers in, in other markets are listening, know that 96%, and there's, there's a pretty easy way to go out and find out you know, if your particular doctor is in there or not. I'll right. Look. So if you go to fepblue.org, uh, you can actually pull it down by the state. Uh, that you're looking for. Uh, you can also zero that in by zip code and we'll give you a 10 mile radius so you can even print out one. So if you have a child who is, say you have a college student that is in Texas, ah. you can get that information. So when they go off to school, which they may not be right now, but if they're going off somewhere, you can have that information and they'll have it on hand. So th- the thing about with Blue Cross, especially the federal employee program is with both of our plans, they're national networks. So wherever you go, you're going to have the same benefit there that you do here. Um, and that's on both of our plans. If you use the Blue Cross and Blue Shield network across the United States, you're going to have the same benefit. So it's just one of those one of those things that go with being a national carrier as we are. Okay, so and you're listening out to folks here in Kansas City. We mentioned HCA. If you're not familiar with what that is, that is Overland Park Regional, Menorah Medical Center. Uh, th- those are those are uh, a whole series of hospitals in and around Kansas City. If you look up HCA um, on the website, you can see it, or I'm sure it's under fepblue.org if you want to look it up that way. So, But those are a whole series of hospitals in and around Kansas City. You all know what the St. Luke's Network is. You all know about KU Medical Center and then the standalone hospitals. Hospitals like North Kansas City, Liberty, etc., are also in this network, so it's huge. It's got to be one of the biggest networks offered on any plan that I know of. Right? Yeah, and there's and, and we we didn't you know one of one of the biggest driver of healthcare costs right now is um, uh, pharmacy. And there's sixty five thousand pharmacies across the United States that are are in that network as well. So you got to get your prescription filled at sixty five thousand different locations uh, across the U S. So Ronnie, what happens if they, you know, they go, they, they they find, they get up in the morning, they find out they've got um, a, a problem with their ear or a nose issue or something. They want to go see a specialist. Do they have to get a referral to do that? No referral. So on both of our plans, both the standard option, basic option, um, those are two two wide open plans. You have no need to get any referrals on any of those plans. Uh, so, so there's no gatekeeper. No gatekeeper there whatsoever. So, so if you decide, hey, I want to take my kid to a specialist who's a pediatric specialist in a certain practice or a certain discipline, you can call and make that appointment and go see him, and you don't need anybody to say, yes, you have permission, or no, you don't have permission. Right, you do not. You have the flexibility to see any of the doctors that are in the network at any point without without having a referral. Correct. Well, that, that, that's also a big deal because people typically uh, don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's an extra step in between having to figure out what, where you're going to go for your health care. And then also, we also have a telehealth program as well. So Okay. So that's a big deal. Let's talk about that for a minute. I, I, I've had Dr. Sweat on here doing a number of shows right. on COVID-19, or as I've nicknamed it, Conehead-19. <laughs> I know people don't send me emails on this. Okay. It's a joke. All right. So having said that, 
the, the, this is really interesting because you know this, Ron. Over, for years and years and years, <laughs> brokers have tried to get employers and employees to use virtual health and telehealth with about a 10% participation. Dr. Sweat told me it's at 90, it's gone up 93% now from yeah. the time that COVID-19 started to now. So talk a little bit about because because you've kept that program in place. Okay, well, a lot of the carriers have eliminated because they're not required to do it now with yep. the COVID-19 CARES Act. So, But Blue Cross of Kansas City chose to keep it in place. Talk about that. Well, um, it's based upon, you know, demand. That's what the customers want. Uh, I think in, in February, before COVID hit, we had 19 telehealth claims. Um, last month it was over 7,000. There you go. So that's what the customers want. Obviously we, we probably should keep that benefit in place. Um, that's amazing. You had 19 in February, 19, 7, we had 19 telehealth claims in February. And I think it was right around 7,000 last month. So if that doesn't illustrate yeah. the point, I don't know what does. Right. Yeah. And we've done it. Lori and I have actually done it. We're Blue Cross and Blue Shield members and we've actually done it. She had a specialist she had to see. This is right during the COVID outbreak march mm-hmm. or april and we did a 45 minute virtual meeting with the doctor on the computer right. and it was it was actually very very good now we've been able to go back in and actually see her but the point is you don't have to go anywhere right okay right. you don't have to worry about wearing a mask and going in a hospital i'm not gonna be around people into an urgent care you can get on the phone dial it up 24 7 put it on your computer if you want the virtual and do you just need exactly if you need that. a prescription uh, you know they they do that electronically you go through the drive through at cvs walgreens wherever pharmacy is that you use and and off you go and carrie we use for federal employees they use teledoc so teledoc is the provider that the federal employees use and the telehealth services as they're talking are, are convenient access to board certified doctors 24 hours a day seven days a week you get treatment for minor in, in, injuries illness and non-emergency health issues so it, yeah, it's right so there at your it, fingers. It's a lot better than going to sit in the urgent care because your kid's got pink eye for two hours. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas yeah. you can you can you can do the teledoc thing. He looks at the child, goes, "Yeah, he's got pink eye. Right. Okay, here's the here, here's the prescription. Go go pick it up, and you're done. That took that took thirty minutes. Not drive to the place, sit there for 30, 45 minutes, and then go through the whole the rigmarole of of trying to get it done. So the telehealth teledoc program is available for all federal employees out there. It's also available for everybody else that happens to be a Blue Cross member. By the way. If you want help, you can go to the phone. You can call them at 1-800-411-BLUE or the website fepblue.org, fepblue.org. We come back from the break. We're going to get into the plan designs now and talk about what's offered and how does it work. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more. You're listening to America's Healthcare Advocate, broadcasting here on the HIA Radio Network, coast to coast across the USA. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're listening to America's Healthcare Advocate Show, broadcasting coast to coast across the USA. Here on the HIA Radio Network, you can find out more about us by visiting our website, americashealthcareadvocate.com. Our producer, Brenna Dwyer, doing a great job today, her first time at the helm. Great job, Brenna. And I'm your host, Carrie Hall, Ron Rowe, and Ronnie Miller from Blue Cross and Blue Shield in studio with me. Um, we're talking about the Federal Employees Health Insurance Program offered by the Blue Cross plans around the country. We're focusing specifically on what's going on here in Kansas City. If you want to call, you know, a thousand people move over last year. Maybe they'll have that many or more this year. If you're on another plan and you want to find out, hey, th- these are the guys that won the J.D. Power Customer Service Award, okay? I mean, they really do know what they're doing. Pick up the phone and call them, 1-800-411-BLUE, 1-800-411-BLUE, or visit fepblue.org, fepblue.org, um, and they'll be happy to chat with you uh, and just basically tell you um, what they have to offer and how they do it, and you might see some significant differences. So once again, the open enrollment season is, Ron? Uh, open enrollment runs from November 9th. Is that right, Ronnie? Right. November, November 9th until uh, December, 12th. Decem- December 14th. December 14th. Okay, so November 9th to December 14th is your open enrollment period. You're listening up to that's the time you have to make a decision. Here's a little piece of advice. Don't wait till December 13th, okay? <laughs> Ron, Ronnie's yeah. over here shaking his head. Yeah. This is what people do, okay? <laughs> they do it in Medicare. They do it in individual Obamacare insurance. And I'm telling you, it's a nightmare when you do that. Don't wait until the last minute. you got plenty of time. Go out there and get it done now. All right, let's talk about the plans, Ronnie. Stand, standard option, basic option. Let's talk about the difference between those two, one of which is one of those plans has no deductibles. So let's chat about that. So 
so the, th- the three plans are we have the standard option plan, which is our traditional PPO plan, and you can go inside or outside the network wherever you want. So if you want to use, we prefer you use doctors that are in network. You get a better, uh, better percentage paid, but you also have the ability to use doctors that are that are not in the network. Um, and, and on that one, you do have a deductible. Okay. The basic option, which is our most popular plan, that is the plan that we add the most members in. Our basic option has no deductible. It's copay based. It, it works. It works. Uh, you just have copay. So you have no deductible. Okay. Yeah. But you still have the freedom. You use still using our largest network possible, our preferred care blue network. So you have the option of using all the networks and it's still nationwide. So even though you have to stay in the network, you still have the nationwide flexibility to go all over the nation and use Blue Cross and Blue Shield providers. Now, so, you know, a lot of times people are in standard option. They've been in standard option forever, carry, and they're like, that's just what I'm used to doing. They're paying a, a little higher premium for being able to go out of network. But then when they look at the basic basic option and say, well, why am I paying all this money? All my doctors are in network. <laughs> Um, I, I was just going to say, well, where, where are they going to find a doctor not on network in Kansas City? Because it looked to me like it would be pretty hard to do that based on what we talked about, right? right? Yeah, nationally, 95% of the doctors <laughs> in the United States are in that national network, and 96% of the hospitals and 65,000 pharmacies. You might want to... Do, you might want to do the math on what what the difference in the premium is. Yeah. Um, so so go back to that. The basic plan option, Ronnie, has no deductible. Correct. Basic option plan has no has no deductible. I mean, right. so you're going to have copays for all of your primary your primary doctor. You're going to have a thirty dollar copay. Specialist a forty dollar copay. Um, so you still have that copay, but the difference in the premium is. It is quite you know we'll just use for an example we don't know what the uh what the next rates next we don't year have, rates yeah are. we don't have 2020 2021 rates yet we got to wait for some numbers to be released by the federal government and then the federal employee director's office but we can we can took, yeah. we, if you're in it this year give an example yeah, what, what is this year i mean if you're in it this year it's almost a hundred and uh ten dollars difference bi-weekly okay uh, That's significant amount of money. So two hundred twenty dollars a month. Yeah, you're looking at twenty five hundred dollars a year. Yeah, roughly. Right. So you could, you could right. save twenty five hundred dollars a year. So go out there and look in the directory. If yeah. you got a doctor you're going to, go out there and look in the directory. Your doctor's in the network. Take the twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, there yeah. you go. It, put put it, it in your pocket. Yeah, and yeah. it's just a, it's a great plan. Both of them have great maternity benefits. On the standard option, which does have a deductible, there's zero there's zero out of pocket expense uh, for your maternity. Um, for the basic option, you just have a hundred and seventy-five dollar outpatient uh, for the inpatient stay. Wow. Period. So let's talk a little bit about preventive and wellness. You, can I say something else yeah, real quick before we get into yeah. this? Because right now, I know there's probably some listeners out there. Their heads are swimming. They're going, "Oh my God!" They're talking about copays, oh deductibles. You know, they're not throwing out numbers, and they're not going to remember all this. Um, we've got a big call center set up. We got a big call center set up. We've got some virtual events that'll be going on where you can. You can log in, and we can get into that later if, if you want to talk about those virtual events. But if you're listening to this um, and, and you can't remember the numbers, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Call us. Come to, come to some of these events online. Yeah. You, don't you, don't to, have, you don't have to yeah, go out. Come, come, come to the events in your living room. There you go. Um, but, but so don't, 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 don't let some of the numbers we're throwing around right now confuse you because um, if, if you are a federal employee and you're taking notes, that's great. But, but we just want to get across that. A lot of people aren't taking advantage of some of the savings that are out yeah, there. Yeah, you can right. find that out by just calling one of the reps at one eight hundred four eleven blue. That they'll, they're. You just heard Ron say they've got a big call center. You want help? Give them a call. They'll be happy to chat with you. There are virtual events coming up. Uh, some of them are coming up um, uh, on. Uh, uh, in December no- 1st, there's one uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern time, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Kansas City. There's our virtual benefit fairs coming up uh, on November 13th, November 20th, December 2nd, December 9th. You can find all that out by going up on the website. I'm not going to go through all that stuff now because you won't remember it anyway. But if you do call the 1-800 number, they'll probably have all that information available and can give it to you if you want. Right. So, and, and, and you know, mostly what we were trying to explain, Kerry, is that there, we have a plan for everybody's needs. Everybody's right. health care needs are a little bit different. Um, and, you know, federal employees are used to having the same thing. And you kind of get into the thing of like, well, I've had it forever and I use it and I use it and I like it and I, I don't really want to look at anything different. But we just want to highlight that there's a plan for everybody and everybody's health care needs with the uh, FEP Blue Cross. Let's talk about preventive 
Okay, how is that covered? What's covered, and what are they? What's their? What? How does that plan work on the permanent side? Because that's a big deal. Right. So I mean, you know, all the state mandated stuff is covered at one hundred percent. You know, so all of your routine benefit stuff, your uh, Pap smears, mammograms, uh, your yearly stuff, colonoscopies. Uh, colonoscopies. Some of those fun events. Some of those fun Where events. Ron's smiling. <laughs> when you get to the certain age. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of which everybody in this room is, except Brenna, by the way. I want to point that out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, but all of that is covered, and there's no deductible, no coinsurance, nothing. It's all covered 100%. Like you just show up. You just show up, right? You okay. made a, make an appointment with your doctor, and you get all that stuff covered. So. Yeah, and that's really important to understand because if you take advantage of that, um, obviously it helps you. Um, and, and it can make a big difference in your life when you find out you've got an issue early, like men who don't go get their prostate exams done and then find out they've got an active cancer issue. Yeah, uh, it's important to go have those things done so that you don't have that situation or if something happens, you catch it early. So let's talk about the new um, dental and the new vision that's available. <clears throat> All right, so, you know, the dental and vision is, is still the same. So we still have a dental and vision product that we offered what we have done this year is we've changed the name. So last year it was FEP Blue Vision um, and FEP Blue uh, Dental. So just to make it a little bit easier for federal employees to find it, we wanted to make sure that it was consistent across the across the land landscape of that's Blue Cross Blue Shield FEP Dental. Can't miss it. Blue Cross Blue Shield FEP Blue Vision. So those are two plans. Our FEP Dental plan has a nationwide uh, plan coverage as well. It's not just here locally. Uh, your preventive coverage. Um, it also covers, there's no waiting period. So if you have any crowns, bridges, implants on the dental, there's no waiting because period with that. That's a big deal because almost all the dental plans out there in the conventional marketplace have a waiting period on crowns, bridges, and all the rest of that stuff. And this plan does not. And you need to hear that, people. There is no waiting period for crowns, bridges, implants, or dentures. It's all immediate. If you're on the plan, you can get it and get it now. Um, talk a little bit about the vision plan, Ronnie. And then on the vision plan, so the vision plan, there's two two different options on the vision plan. The vision plan, you can go and get your yearly ro- routine uh, eye exam with no copay whatsoever. Uh, some of the one we have Vision Works, Costco, uh, Lens Crafters. Uh, so we have a wide variety of networks that our members can go to and utilize. Um, if you go, you will also give you a stipend of money of uh, $125. So if you go to uh, one of those providers, find a pair of Oakley frames like Ron Bro has on today. I have Costco frames. I don't have, I don't have Oakley. I just want to point out. You know, mine came from Costco. Guys. So, you know. Mine were probably cheaper than I, I know. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so, so you can have money that goes towards... <laughs> Um, any of your name brand lenses. So if those of you choose, you can pick those, and we're going to give you money towards that as Pretty well. Cool. So, Okay, if you want information, you're a federal employee, 1-800-411-BLUE. And there's also all those virtual events I just named where, as Ron pointed out, you can sit in your living room, and they'll take you through the whole thing. If you call the phone number, they'll tell you what t- when they are. There's also the website, fepblue.org. FEPBlue.org. If you want information, you can do that. Once again, 1 800 411 Blue. If you want to learn about open enrollment, November 9th to December 14th. We'll be right back after the break. We're going to talk about if you're on Medicare, and also we're going to talk about some incentives that are out there. Stay tuned. You're listening to America's Healthcare Advocate broadcasting here on the HIA Radio Network, coast to coast across the USA. You're listening to America's Healthcare Advocate Show, broadcasting coast to coast across the Fruited Plain here on the HIE Radio Network. You can find out more about us by visiting our website, America's Healthcare Advocate.com. Our producer, Miss Brenna Dwyer. I'm your host, Kerry Hall. In studio with me, Ron Rowe and Ronnie Miller from Blue Cross and Blue Shield. We are doing our annual Felder 
federal employees benefit show um, focusing on the Blue Cross and Blue Shield plan for federal employees. The phone number, if you want to call, you know, they had a thousand, they've got 45,000 members, they had a thousand new ones last year. If you're interested in looking at this, you're not on a blue plan now. By the way, they did win the JD Power Customer Service Award as best health insurance carrier in the Kansas City Metro. There's a reason for that. 1 800 411 Blue. You can find out that reason by calling them 1 800 411 Blue or the website FEP, FEP Blue.org. Open enrollment. You've got November 9th to December 14th. Don't wait till December 13th to call. You need to do something. Do it now. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk a little bit about um, uh, the, if you're on Medicare. You know, this is always a problem for people. Oh, I'm on Medicare. I'm going I'm to lose my coverage. Not if you're on this plan. You're not. No. So let's talk about how they transition. And then uh, you've got, uh, uh, you know, reimbursement in here that's pretty significant. So let's talk about that. Yeah. So one of the good things about being a federal employee is that when you retire as a federal employee, you get to keep your health care benefits into retirement. That's unheard of. I mean, most times yeah. you retire, your employer kicks you off to your plan, and you've got to go out and find – a Medicare plan, a Medicare A, B, and all that stuff. So with, with the federal employees, you get to keep your plan when you retire, and then you also have the ability to buy the Part B. So Part B does have a premium in, included. I don't know what the price is going and up to be. About, it's, average is about $146 a month typically, okay? Yeah. And, and then it's scaled based on scaled income. income. Based on income, yeah. Right. yeah. Most yeah. federal employees aren't going to be affected by the higher no, they're not. income, though. No, <clears throat> So that typically runs about typically runs about one hundred twenty six to one hundred forty six dollars. There so, you go. Right. Yeah. And so and so of that, if you get Part B, what we do to offset that amount is that we give you eight hundred dollars that you can get reimbursed for of that Part B premium. So, and if you have Part B, you're going to have zero out of pocket expenses. I mean, other than your pharmacy costs. So if you have if you have the Blue Cross federal employee into your retirement right. and you have the Part B. You go to the hospital, you go to the doctor, you're going to have zero out-of-pocket expenses other than your pharmacy. If you have any pharmacy expenses, you will have that. Other than that, your out-of-pocket expenses are zero. And we're giving you the $800 to uh, fulfill some of the money that you're paying for the Part B. That's a pretty decent yeah. deal. That's, uh, kind of, that's kind of hard to argue it, with. It is. I would encourage any retiree that's Medicare eligible, meaning they're 65, to call us because Medicare is very, very complicated. And, and especially you get into situations where, okay, I'm 65, but my wife is 63. What are we going, what are we going to do here? Well, you're probably going to want to keep the wife on the FEP plan, which means you're going to have to keep the FEP plan if you were the federal employee. Right. And so, And then can the wife get the $800 in addition to you getting the $800? Well, she's not Medicare eligible yet. So, no, because she's got – call us. Call us, call us. Ronnie and the team can can go through what it means for you as it relates to Medicare. And then we have a whole call center for Medicare experts, too. So we've got the FEP um, dedicated unit that talks specifically about the FEP benefits. But then we've got another Medicare unit that, you know, you might you might want to end up talking with with both of those folks to find yeah, out what you your know, best option it's is. It's funny because this kind of reminds me of I have the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Medicare supplement. And, you know, we had that horrible accident a couple of years ago when Lori broke her leg and the costs were unbelievable. And our out of pocket was zero. So uh, that, that, you know, and this is the same kind of thing. We paid nothing because that, that's the way the med sub sets up. So this is kind of like that. And it's really a great plan. And it's nice to know you don't have to worry about it. It's not an issue. Right. And what Ron was saying as well, though, if you have, if you guys are both over the age of 65, right. uh, then each one of you are going to get that reimbursement. So it's just not one person in the household. Wow. It, it so could be uh, you and your spouse. So that's $1,600. Uh, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah. So $1,600 in the household if both of you guys are over over the 65. And if you do have any questions, you know, you always can call uh, the one 800 blue And we also have our local number here, which is on the back of everybody's ID card. It's the 816-395-2500 number uh, here locally uh, to talk to our, our, our local uh, Blue Cross. And yeah, blue and if you're a federal employee that doesn't have blue and you don't have that card yet, just call 816-395-2222. We'll, we'll get you to the right unit. 2222 is a number that everybody can remember. And we'll get you over to that federal employee unit. We really, really, um, you know, uh, we were, we were really excited that we had uh, t- uh, a, a thousand people last year that weren't well, maybe, with us that moved our way. And, and, and maybe and, we'll do a little better now uh, this year. Who knows? We'll see how many people listen to this broadcast. Yep. And, and uh, you know, talk for this plan. As we wrap it up, you've got some wellness resources. I want to talk a little bit about some incentive programs for people uh, for completing the Blue Health Assessment. You want to chat about that a minute, Ronnie? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a great 
you know, it's not free money, but if you go out and do the Blue Health Assessment, we're going to give you a $50 debit card that you can use towards medical expenses. Yeah. Uh, you go out and do the little Blue Health Assessment. It takes you probably around 15 minutes. 15 minutes, $50 you can use towards your... But we also have a lot of good programs. We also have uh, a smoking sensation, uh, tobacco uh, sensation, smoking sensation. Uh, so it's tobacco sensation, hypertension management, pregnancy care, and diabetes management. Um, so we have a lot of different wellness programs that that we offer. And if say that you say that you fall into any of those things, we have uh, people who reach out to you about these plans. Our diabetes management, we have a great diabetes plan for people who are on a diabetes and taking medicine. Uh, we use Lavongo, which is a absolute unbelievable plan that that for di- people who are on diabetes, they actually get a monitor and get strips for enrolling at no cost. Yeah, and you know, that's important because diabetes can be a real problem. Type 1, type 2. And if you're type 2 and you're in a program, you can reverse that. And th- this is the kind of thing that, you know, comes with these wellness programs that can make a huge difference for people. And those A1C tests nine times a year, you forget, they're going to tell you, hey, guess what? You need to get in there and get that A1C test done so you can monitor your blood sugar and see how you're doing. So those wellness programs are important, and they, and they do play a big difference for people. Right. And so you say you do the, you blue, do the Blue Health Assessment, $50. If you do any of the other online coaching uh, that we talked about, you can receive up to another $40 for three of those assessments. So another $120 plus the 50. So that's $170 that you could have on a, on a health assessment card that you can use towards deductibles, co-pays. Anything you want to use. Anything you want to use. All right. Well, thank you all for both being in here today. Great show again this year. Hopefully thank you we'll, for having uh, us, Carrie. get another thousand Enjoyed lives it. or more. The phone number 1-800-411-BLUE or FEPBLUE.org or... You can call locally, 816-395-2222, 816-395-2222. They will be happy to help you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I leave you with this thought from Albert Einstein. The one who follows the crowd will usually get no further than the crowd. The one who walks alone is likely to find himself in places no one has ever been. Remember, friends, it's a funny thing about life. If you refuse to accept anything but the very best, you most often get it. Thank you for listening to America's Healthcare Advocate, broadcasting here on the HIA Radio Network, coast to coast across the USA. Goodbye, America. Goodbye, America.